Hello everyone. Today I just wanted to show you a way of uh, increasing your Laravel performance by using a bit of caching. So caching is not a substitute of writing good code, but it is a complement, meaning that if we can write good code, we can also increase the performance by using caching, since caching cannot always be used. And you'll see this in a in a in a bit. So I'll, I'm going to um, improve the performance of this really simple method that returns everything that is um, in this class, the game class. So there is just one object here, so we should not expect this to take very, very long. And so what we can do for measuring the um, the throughput here, we can um, or the duration rather, we can store the starting time as the micro micro uh, time in microseconds from the Unix uh, era and we can do whatever we want here store this as a result and uh, we should of course return the result in in the end meaning that if we we have someone here that is uh, attempting to get this they will also get the result we we don't just want to uh, to profile this and and then we can get the duration which is the current time in microseconds and we want to get this as a float as well and we subtract the starting time there we go and so here we get the time in seconds but we really want to work with uh, milliseconds so we multiply this by 1000 and now we can use the log driver to um, log this and we say no cache because this is just the normal implementation and we can um, add the duration here and just let's just add milliseconds and now we'll see that this runs if we open the log here and I run this again oh no we have an error let's see here what we did Unexpected return. Yeah, I forgot the semicolon. Things happen, but it's fixed now. Okay, so now here we go. No cache. 250 milliseconds. And I'm only fetching one record here from the database that we do have to talk to the database. So that could take some time. It, it shows here that because we only get a result of a few lines if you could see it here. Okay, so now what can we do? Well, we can use this uh, cache facade that is provided by Laravel and we can uh, Im improve the performance here quite a bit. So instead of doing this, let's um, use the, the... I can just put this down here. Uh, we use the cache facade and the cache remember remember and we need a... and this is a key value store so the cache it inputs it takes a key and if something is in the key with a certain uh, lifetime then we return the set value and if it does not exist we calculate that value put it in the store and we return it in instead so this is just we, we, we can remember something for a bit of a time so here since this is um, a list of all games let's call it games because we really want to be able to remember this later on and then the second argument here is um, is the uh, duration that this will be stored in the cache and, and, and I don't really intend to update this, this a lot so let's just go with 10 minutes and then let's add a closure and this is what will be calculated and returned if we don't have this key in our cache and here we just return game all. So this should be the same result, right? And if we s oh, and uh, of course we should change this to cache or with cache. And so let's let's reload this and see that it works. And we get 269 milliseconds. Okay, it's the same as this. 
it's it's expected since we didn't have the key games inside our cache but now we should have it so now we should expect to see a, some performance benefit here so I'm rerunning it and we get 5 milliseconds let's try it again we get 7 okay let's do it two more times and we have another 5 and another 7 so we've actually gone from from having a um, time around uh, 200 300 milliseconds somewhere in that range we've gone down to uh, 5 or 7 milliseconds instead for our best case uh, times and and the worst case is still the same so there really is is no no drawback of using this method if we can afford to use up the memory that the cache driver uses and I've not tweaked the cache uh, at, at all so by by choosing the correct driver for you you could even increase this a bit more I think but the improvement now is is just amazing and so we can clean this up a bit we don't really need all this logging when we go into production so we can just return here and we should not see any output but the result should be the same and what this does is that it allows us to increase our throughput by um, by keeping the same results sort and we cannot use caching for everything but where we can use it and, and so everything will be faster another thing to note here is that um, whenever the cache expires we will be forced to um, go back to our worst case time from before but that shouldn't be a problem so you, but we still need to keep that in mind when writing your code you can't just write bad code and expect it to be performant when you use the cache and that is everything for me thank you